Hello, this week we're going to talk about opposites. Hello there, it's Friday. We're going to review all of the opposites that we've learned from Monday to Thursday. Are you ready for the review? Okay, so let's start first with heavy and light. So do you remember this? This is just a stick, right? So this is light. And now it's bigger and it's heavy. Let's try another one. Next, we have this book. It is small and it's light. Oh, now it's big and it's heavy. Next, let's review about strong and weak. We're going to use again this book to see if you're strong. You need to carry the book for 10 seconds, okay? We're going to use now only one hand. Let's see if you're strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, you did it. You're so strong. How about if the weak person is carrying this book? Let's try it, okay? Now imagine I'm weak. Let's use the same book, okay? Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, it fell down. I can't hold the book. I'm weak. Very good. Now let's try another one. It's the push and pull. Now can you say it with me? Push, push. Now let's move our arms forward. Push. Very good. Let's try it again. Push. Good job. Last one. Push. Great job. Now let's try the pull, okay? Say pull and then move your hands backward. Pull, pull, pull. Very good. The next one is, what am I doing? Very good. I'm moving fast. Can you say fast? Fast. Fast. Now let's try to say slow. Let's move slow. 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 Very good. Next is near and far. Near is close to you, far is away from you. So let's see. Let's have this example. We have a helicopter toy here so the helicopter will go near to you close near and far near and far very good next one is tall and short okay tall short tall short tall and short. Did you remember this? This one is tall. If I'm going to take this. Oh, now it is short. Tall and short. Next on our list we have the empty and the full. Like this bottle. This bottle is empty. There's nothing in it. And now, do you see that? Now there's water inside. Now the bottle is full. Next, let's do the big and small. I have something here. And look, it's a small fire truck. 
Let's make it bigger. See? Now it's big. Let's try another one. Okay, this, I have a big toy, right? Let's make it small. Ta-da! Now it's small. Next, let's not forget the loud and shh, quiet. Remember? Loud and quiet. Again, I have this phone. Let's make something loud in here. Can you hear that? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What? I can't hear you. Because it's loud. What? You want quiet? Okay, let's make it shh. Okay, then let's turn this off. Okay, that's much better. It is what? So next is that we have clean and dirty. Wait, wait, there's, there's something in my face. It's dirty, so what should I do? I need to clean it, I need to find something to... Okay, I found some wipes. Let's try to clean it. Is it clean now? Is it clean? It's, it, it's not dirty anymore. Is my face clean? Yay, now it's clean. It's not dirty anymore. So wait, I'm going to the bathroom and I'm going to wash my face first, okay? Oh, sorry. I was in the bathroom and I just washed my hands and my face and they're wet. So I need something to dry my face and my hands. So I needed a dry towel, okay? Just a moment, I'm going to wipe my hands dry, also my face. Oh, now it's dry. It's not wet anymore. Well, I hope you enjoyed our week's topic about opposites because I've enjoyed it very much. So I'll see you again next time for more English. Bye! Please watch these videos, I'll put the links down below.